Well, Ladi now, he walks into the set with uh, yeah. his crypto numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the numbers, again, not looking so good today. We're still uh, seeing... I wouldn't expect it. I yeah. Mean, it's uh, nobody's, nobody, no market is an island. Right. And I'm wondering when we will get to see a bullish market You know, market Ladi, again. I remember, I remember, I think, was it November, December last year when Bitcoin was at about 65? And, yeah, good And times. we just took it for granted. Yeah. And we thought it was, it has come to stay. <laughs> we didn't know no that. We'll be talking about, we'll talk about Bitcoin at 18,000, yeah. 19,000. And, and speculation about 16. Anyway, let's, I think let, Mike Nagio, one of yes. your guests, said 10. Uh, yeah, 10. At a point. So many expectations. <laughs> anyway, it's extreme fear we're seeing right now, 24 points of 100. Talking about the sentiment uh, in the market. Now, let's look at the market cap there. We see it's down this morning, down 2.23%. And with volume traded, we're seeing a lot of volume coming in. Uh, that's from the sell pressure in the market. Talking about Bitcoin and uh, most of the altcoins, is up 62.68%. Bitcoin dominance sitting at 39.77%. So uh, a lot uh, of traders right now holding their breath, waiting for that uh, CPI and PPI report. Let's talk to a limited additional now, financial market analyst, bring us uh, up to speed. All right, seems Olumide is, we're going to try and get Olumide. Let's uh, move on now to the price of Bitcoin, $19,068. That's down 1.71% from the sell-offs we saw, losing that uh, 19.5 level and uh, $29.36 billion in volume traded in Bitcoin. Let's bring in Olumide now. Hello, Olumide. Yeah, hello, Ladi. Yeah, it's I don't know if you're... It's a very red one here, uh, red Tuesday. Yeah, it's, it's pretty red. It's uh, been red from last week into this week, and uh, everyone holding their breath for the C U.S. CPI and PPI data. What are you expecting for that data? Well, we expect um, some form of moderation, but uh, one of the things investors are rightly aware is that uh, no matter numbers that come out, uh, the U.S. Fed is adamant on the 2% uh, mandate, uh, meaning the inflation target. And, you know, inflation uh, over and above 8% tells you that uh, uh, the United States Central Bank will keep on uh, with the interest rate hike. But, you know, across the market, it has been quite moody. Uh, the Bank of England interfering in the bond market tells you that all is not well in the sixth uh, uh, largest economy. And if you look at the fact that escalated um, attacks from the Russians on Ukraine tells you the dynamic around the uh, geopolitical uncertainty still remains parabolic. So investors right now have a to risk of, and that's why you're seeing Bitcoin uh, strolling around the $19,000 mark. But I think when the data comes out, we'll, we're going to see spawn volatility. But on the long term for Bitcoin, it's still the bears having the take right now. Yeah, the, the bears dominating at this point. But what do you think is the best strategy for, you know, some traders are still, you know, holding through this uh, red right now. Do they hold till the data comes out or is it better to stay on the sideline? What do you yeah. think? Well, I, I think... Uh, you know, I advocate at more on the long term. It's very difficult to analyze uh, short term um, price breaks. But if you look at what is really happening right now, you know, like I said, the bears really have the upper hand. Uh, but interestingly, if the number must drift considerably, we see the number ticking lower. It means that uh, it's possible Bitcoin breaks over the twenty thousand dollar mark. But on, on the reversal, uh, it means that uh, Bitcoin is still in trouble waters. Because if we look at what is happening across risk um, on assets, particularly U.S. equities and um, other um, assets, you see that the moderations have really been on for weeks, and it doesn't look like it's at the bottom uh, yet, Ladi. All right, Olumide, all eyes on that data. I'll be watching out for it. Thank you so much, Olumide, financial market analyst. All right, let's uh, flip over to the price of Ethereum. There we see that's down 2.86%, $1,278. Lost that $1,300 mark, and we see volume there, $9.72 billion. Let's look at the top alts by market cap there. It's all red with Cardano there uh, down 5.71%. We see XRP down 7.02%. It's had that bullish run uh, since last month, but now we're seeing pull back now with the macro uh, effects hitting the price of uh, XRP there. We see BNB uh, not uh, doing so bad, down 2.13%. Uh, so, uh, any, uh, that's how the market is looking. 
traders are still fearful and uh, all eyes on that CPI, PPI yeah. data coming out on Thursday. Let's hope by this time tomorrow the data would have been out, markets would have reacted and then would have seen at least a level of stability yeah. back. Yeah, it's all about rate hikes right now. Yeah. Thank you so much, Laddie.